are basically making fake milk that is identical to milk cheaper and with a fraction of the land. It's the same thing that we use for cheese, yogurt, beer, and wine. And I thought I'd just have a clip of a person from one of the companies that is making precision fermentation dairy. This is Ryan Pandia, CEO and founder of Perfect Day Food. Things like cheese, yogurt, uh, beer, wine, right? You're taking a whole food, you're adding microflora to it, some kind of fermentation process is happening, and then that that entire thing is the product, right? When you add cultures to, to milk, let's say, and it turns into yogurt, that whole thing is the product. What we're doing in precision fermentation is we're, we're using microflora, we're feeding them something, and then they're making a single, extremely pure product, and that is what we... That's what we're actually after. So you can kind of picture our fermentation as being kind of like brewing beer in that you've got a tank, you've got some microflora in it, they're eating some some sugar or, you know, simple plant input, and then they're making this kind of broth with milk protein in it. But we don't want all of that other stuff. We just want the milk protein. And so that's the precision. We, we take out that one protein, honestly, using the same kinds of filtration and drying that the dairy industry has already pioneered. And they work on our protein because it's the same protein. And at the end of this process, what we've actually created is an identical protein to what's found in cow's milk. But all of a sudden, for the first time in history, it's totally animal free. There were no animals involved in making that product and none of the other downsides of, of animal farming. So the sustainability, the impact on land, water, pollution, not to mention the things that are in the product that people aren't looking for, lactose, hormones, cholesterol, uh, and antibiotics, right? All these different things are not present because we're just making that protein. So milk is basically made up of four things. The milk protein, fat, sugar, which can easily be added, and water. So the key ingredient there is the protein from dairy, and they're replicating yeah. that, and then they can just add fat and sugars how they want, and uh, water, and then you have milk. And then you can also just take the dairy protein and put it in um, protein supplements and things like that. That's the first thing that's going to happen. 